A preliminary scan of the popliteal fossa may first be performed with the patient on his or her side and a pillow placed between the knees. The purpose of this initial scan is to identify the popliteal vessels. The peroneal and tibial nerves can be identified lateral and posterior to the popliteal artery and vein. A proximal scan from this point demonstrates the sciatic nerve made up of its component, peroneal and tibial nerves. Marking the skin at this point will help with later identification of the target nerves to be blocked. The entire popliteal area is then prepared in a sterile fashion prior to performing the block. An electrical nerve stimulator is attached to the patient and the area to be blocked is covered with a sterile drape. A 5 cm 18 gauge needle is attached to the nerve stimulator and inserted out of plane to the probe. The needle is then advanced slowly through the lateral part of the biceps femoris muscle until it is seen to pass between the peroneal and tibial nerves. 1 to 2 milliliters of 5% dextrose can now be injected to confirm needle tip position. A 20 to 30 milliliter volume of local anesthetic solution is now injected. Local anesthetic solution can then be observed spreading around the peroneal and tibial nerves giving very clear definition to them. A catheter can be threaded through the needle while the tip is still between the peroneal and tibial nerves. It is advisable to advance the catheter further while the needle is slowly being withdrawn. Catheter tip position can be confirmed by injecting through it and observing spread of solution under ultrasound guidance.